Hi right, guys, welcome back. Sorry, I have a little bit of a hoarse voice today. I just woke up with it. I don't feel sick or anything like that. So I guess it'll just have to clear up as the day goes on. We got the dress done. Now the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on here. All the little details are very difficult to decipher on here. So to get my bearings and where my head is at every time I switch, because that takes time, what I'm doing is I'm filling in the little details. This leaf here is dark. I put this leaf. So now when I go to look on this page, I immediately see, oh, that's where I am. And for this, I'm using dark umber because it very closely matches probably exactly matches what's in the book. So I'm going to work on this for about an hour and then I'll come back. over to Arteza pencils. They're very bright pencils and while it's a darker color I want it to stand out and I found two pencils that would match these colors down here and that's the Periwinkle and the Robin's Egg. Mixed with some white and I will achieve this color. <laughs> here has a lot of shades in it and I'm going to start roughing it in on here because that will make a huge difference on how my eye is going back and forth and remember my technique of doing pictures is from the bottom up I don't like normally I wouldn't have worked out the entire dress I would have kind of put everything on the page and built up so I'm going to start working on all the greenery because that's going to attract, really attract my eye. I may not get into the trees, but 
the grass. Now, the, I'm still working with Ed, Azteca pencils. I've done other things with the Azteca, and I'm very comfortable doing grass with it. And what I like about it is it, it's a harder wax. It's very bright. I, I believe it's brighter than Prismacolor, and I really want those areas to pop. Yet it lays down more like an oil pencil where it's not as creamy. So where I put the color at this point isn't going to go anywhere. And since I'm putting down a base color, I really want it to stay there. And then I will build up from it and get all the nooks and crannies. So consider this the ugly stage of this picture. It's not going to look as good as it does. I think I demonstrated that in the rows. It doesn't get really good until the end when I go through this picture with a fine-tooth comb doing the little itsy bitsy pieces of it. So the colors that I've picked, I think this is, think this is lime peel, if they call it lime peel. It's close to lime peel. Pear. Okay. Pear, mint, matcha, and sunflower. I'll probably pick up some other pencils in there just to lighten things up. Of course, I'm using my white. I will see when I'm done.
I got enough over here to easily tell what is going on so I'm able to start developing it and like I did over here and you could see from over here to over here now it's not fully developed but you could see how it's starting to take shape the next thing I'm gonna work on is the cape over here now I've already tested out my colors at the top here and I'm gonna work on this part now as you could tell this is like a darker shade of magenta and purple Okay, I'm going to be working with magenta and pomegranate, and you can see that magenta practically, this is magenta, which was easy to tell. And I'm going to just sort of copy the lines that I see that are on here, and where the shading is, and you can tell he used a little bit of white. As you could see it like right there he's got like a a brush stroke I'm gonna use the white as my blending medium over here and it should put in this line it brings both these sides together and there it is. Okay, of course it's much smaller in the other picture. I just want to make sure I get it and then I'll cover up any extra white that's on there. Okay. Then it gets a little darker onto the side and for that I'm going to use I'm going to try the pomegranate and see if that's dark enough. If I add pomegranate and then a little bit of gray, it should do it. And then I'm going to use... I've got a Derwent Pro Color. This is a dark indigo. And sometimes when you add the red to the blue like indigo it makes a really nice shadow color and and it makes it work and it did and now it seems to go to the magenta again and that would be right here and it's got a tiny bit of white in it too so I'll give it a little bit of white and then it goes down here and it's a little bit in here and then it's got a light line going in it so let's get that there I'll shape it up in a minute. So I'm going to start underneath here, and you can see where it goes darker over here. I'm not sure if it's going to work out with the pencils that I have, but I may be able to add a little bit of sienna to it and make it work. But it definitely brightens up over here, so we're going to put a bright over here. And then it has a dark next to it. And then it seems to darken up as it gets over there. So 
So I'm going to give it a little more magenta. And then I'll go with the pomegranate in the corner. Now, it changes to almost all red. So I'm going to use the pomegranate first. And here. But I need a red red. It changes actual color. It's not even a hue of the next color. So what do I have here? I've got dark red and that might work. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of white because it seems to have a little bit of white right here. You don't want to be brushing red with your hands. That does not work well. I need to use my blue again. Or actually, maybe a dark purple would be better. Let's see what happens. Just to sharpen those edges because those are what anybody know the answer <laughs> those are hard edges these are soft that's hard so you want a nice distinction between the two I think I'm gonna just darken it up slightly yeah, that's what it was missing. A little bit of raspberry. And you can see that very, very gentle white right there. Not noticeable to anything unless you're really looking at it, but those are the tiny details that you really want. You want that little bit there. You want that little bit there. I'm gonna straighten this line out. And even though it's a soft fade, you want to stick with that fade. And this is really as easy as paint by numbers. So that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.